This doesn't cost 10 euros. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Let's just clear that out of the way. I saw a video a few days ago and the creator was saying that he bought a comparable PC like this and it only costs 10 euros on eBay because yes, he was lucky to get something like this. But if you take a look at this PC, I'm gonna show you different reasons why this doesn't cost 10 euros. First of all, I'm just gonna close that back so that you can actually understand what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna close this back and just show you. First of all, take a look at this PC. This PC looks excellently clean back and front. It's a Dell Optiplex uh, 5060 tower PC. Take a look at it. Even though it's a used PC, you do not see any signs of use on this PC. It is very clean. If you ever see anything like this, I just need to only clean it up and the PC is as good as new. Take a look at the back. Looks perfectly clean. It has a graphic card in it. And take a look at the front of this PC. There's a DVD writer right here and everything looks perfectly clean. Just the way a refurbished PC would look like. Then if you go ahead to open up the PC, you will realize that this is a PC. It's kind of difficult to take that out without taking this uh, front cover out. So I'm gonna take that out and show you exactly what I mean. Take a look at the front cover. They are no, you see, when you buy some PCs, you see that here it's gonna be with a lot of scratches because when the previous users try to use the, the USB drive, it ends up scratching this front chassis and it just make a mess of this whole front. But take a look at this. You do not see anything that will kind of annoy you. I'm just gonna bring it close so that you can see it on the camera. Like I was saying, if you open this PC just like that, you see that on this PC, is a four gigabyte DDR4 RAM. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna change that right here and then to 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. So that stays there. And there's a graphic card right here. Just gonna pop that out because I really do not need this. It's an NVIDIA graphic card with two display ports, full profile, I do not need this. So I'm gonna pop that out and I've got something right here to actually go ahead and replace that. But this is not the most important thing. On this PC, it's an Intel processor, an Intel 8th gen processor, super processor that you can never think of having on a used PC. If you go ahead to take a look at it, this PC is free from dust. There's nothing that you will see inside this PC that will make you kind of angry and make you just want to throw up, you know. If this PC were to cost 10 euros, then you will see what I mean. Inside is going to be all dusted out. They're, they're gonna be missing RAM sticks and perhaps the processor is not gonna be working as it should. Beautiful thing about this PC that even though it has a DVD drive right here, like you can see, just that is SATA, SATA cable, that's the power cable. There is also a possibility to actually uh, install a, a 3.5 inch hard drive right here. Not every PC will actually have this possibility. Look, this is a possibility that you have to install a HDD right here. You can decide to make it one terabyte, two terabytes, just as you find uh, necessary. But that's not all, you know, because I know what you are thinking. This is just normal. No, it's not. This is just the beginning of the good things to come. If you take a look right here, you will see that you also have the possibility to put in a 2.5 inch uh, SSD, as the case may be, or even a 2.5 inch hard drive right here. You see, and this is even not enough. Take a look closely you also see that right here, there's a possibility to slot in here an NVMe SSD. And I've got right here a one terabyte. Can't seem to find it right now. Just give me one minute because, all right, I've got it right here, a one terabyte NVMe SSD. Just gonna open it so that you see that, look, this is not just me telling you things that's not possible. See, branded, new, it's a crucial NVMe SSD. These are stuff I've used myself. The RAM sticks are crucial. If you take a look closely, you see that's crucial. And the SSD right here is crucial. There's a reason why this PC has decided to be upgraded with crucial SSD. It's not a sponsored video. This video has not been sponsored in any way by crucial, but I just feel like since I have used these parts for so many PCs, it makes a lot of sense to just you know talk about it and make you see that look, Whenever you have a beautiful PC like this, not a PC that costs 10 euros, it makes a lot of sense for you to go ahead and buy the best parts that you can actually use to upgrade it. These are beautiful RAM sticks, RAM sticks that will not disappoint you. This is a beautiful 
NVMe SSD, one terabyte. This you can use for years. You won't be complaining of your data getting lost or your, your NVMe SSD getting broken while you are trying to install Windows on it. All you have to do is to slot it on your PC and then your PC is good to go. So like I was saying, this PC has very good four RAM slots. So you can go ahead and populate this RAM slot. In fact, not about just talking about it. I'm going to go ahead and break this and actually just uh, slot this on. So that goes out. First one is going to come right here. And then just do the same for every other RAM slot that I have. Two. Three. And the last one goes in right here. Please guys, be careful when you are opening your new Crucial RAM sticks because if you are not careful while trying to open it, you can actually go ahead and just break the RAM stick. So what I do is just to hold it right here at the edges and then slide it open. And then you have your RAM stick. Look at it, it smells perfectly like new. Beautiful, excellent RAM sticks that will not make you cry if you go ahead to buy them. Might be a little bit on the expensive side, but this is what it is. If you have an expensive PC, a PC that you believe in, a PC that will not disappoint you, it makes every sense of the world to actually just Take the pain to get very good quality parts to make sure that when your PC is working, you do not have to worry about the PC getting broken while it's in operation, all right? So the RAM stick has been installed, and what I'm gonna do is to go ahead and take out the NVMe SSD and just do the same. And then I'm gonna show you more reasons why this PC doesn't actually cost 10 euros. The beautiful thing about the Crucial NVMe SSD is that you actually have a screw. So let's say, your PC doesn't have a screw that will enable you to install this. I wouldn't know if this will fit on every PC because every PC has got its different uh, sizes of screws. But good thing I have here is that on this PC, I do have my screw right there. So what I need to do, possibly get a screwdriver, but apparently I can actually use my hand to just uh, open it. And then I don't know if the camera is going to catch that, but what I'm going to do is just to take the SSD like that and then go ahead, slot it on. And thereafter, take the uh, screwdriver. This is exactly what you need to do this. And then I am going to, uh, I'm going to screw that back in place. Maybe a little bit tight, but it's what it is. Sometimes you just have to be careful while you are doing this thing so that you do not break anything. So, all right, what we do have now Okay, it's already right there. As you can see, everything looks beautiful. So what we have now is that we have a PC that has an 8th gen Intel Core i5 processor on board, and it has a 32 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM, as well as a one terabyte of uh, NVMe SSD right there. If I do want to upgrade this folder, I can actually go ahead and put a one terabyte or two terabytes of uh, HDD hard drive right there, but I'm not going to do that. The way the PC is, it's already complete enough for me to do everything I actually want to do. And I mean everything. It could be relative for you. Your needs for this PC might be different, but I tell you, this PC is not going to disappoint you. You see, if I were to close this like this, this PC is going to be left like this and it doesn't really look cool. So because I do have this, I will just try to put it here and kind of replace it and then the PC looks exactly like this, looking like new, looking exactly the same way it came from Dell, a beautiful company that actually makes beautiful stuff. The PC actually has a speaker right there. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, from the front of it, we can actually take a look at that. That's the speaker right there. It's kind of difficult to see, but... So what it means is that if you are to get something like this, you're going to have a PC that has a very, very fast processor, that has very fast RAM sticks, fast NVMe SSD, very beautiful and decent 80 plus premium power supply. And you have a PC that actually has a speaker 
And behind the PC, right on board, you have two display ports right there and a lot of USB 3.0 ports. What more can you actually ask for? So this PC is every, in every way far from being a $10 PC. So you might watch some YouTube videos and then you are motivated to go about searching for this PC for $10 or 10 euros, depending on where you live. I'm sorry to disappoint you because you are not going to find anything like that. I really do not need this screw. So I'm just going to put the screw right in and then throw that away and then take my cover and actually go ahead. Even if you take a look at how this PC closes, all you have to do is to take the cover. It doesn't stress you. One thing I have noticed is that the 10 euro pieces or the $10 pieces that you see on the internet, they are very difficult first to open and also to close. Closing this PC is the easiest thing that you can actually do. Once you have aligned the cover like this, all you have to do is just to press it like this and it snaps in place and the PC is closed, ready to go, ready for you to connect. It's something I also forgot that might be very, very important to you because right now we're in generation where a lot of people just want to use a PC that has a USB-C port. And if you take a look at this PC, right there is the USB-C port looking at you. You see, you finally have the opportunity to have a beautiful and complete PC just like this. You might be wondering now and asking, how do I money? How do I get this kind of PC? Right there in the description of this video, there's a link that takes you directly to this offer. This PC is going for cheap. Like I said in the beginning, I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's not being sold for 10 euros, but you are sure that you will get a PC that will meet all your needs, won't disappoint you, a PC that is very quiet, a PC that is clean. This is just dust, don't be deceived. It's not scratches, not exactly what you think it is. It's just dust, in fact, I can actually go ahead. I can actually go ahead and clean this PC just to get my special cleaner. A lot of people have been asking me, where do you actually get what you use in cleaning your PC? I'm gonna make a separate video just to show you exactly how I do clean my PC and exactly what is inside this container. <laughs> that is pretty much like a, like a secret, but I'm gonna show you that secret so that when you go ahead to get that stuff, you can actually turn your used PC to pretty much new again. See, I've cleaned this place now and everything looks very, very clean, all right? So like I was saying before the rude interruption, if you go to the description of this video, there's a link that takes you directly to this offer where you can actually buy this PC for a very, very good price, but not 10 euros, and the PC will be delivered to you. Look at it excellently beautiful. I hope this video helps you. If you are right now in the market looking for something decent to buy, consider taking a look at the link and you will be glad you did. Until I see you again in the next video, peace.